Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a fun like DIY project. I first saw this on TikTok and I will try to look up the TikTok and give credit to the person who gave me this idea. But today we're doing a DIY t-shirt dress and I'm gonna go in depth today on how to do this. It's actually really simple, but I'm gonna go in depth on how to measure and how to sew the seams and everything like that. Yeah, this is like my first sewing video on my channel, but I actually like went to school for fashion design, though I did not graduate and I kind of been sewing since I was 14. So I'm going to show you guys how I transformed this 2XL men's t-shirt into a cute little dress, a cute little mini dress, very skimpy. So yeah, cheers to fun DIY projects during quarantine. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you guys like it, thumbs it up, subscribe, and I will do more videos like this. But yeah, we're gonna get started on today's craft, so stay tuned. And okay guys, so this is the before. Um, this is just a large, well, technically a 2XL men's t-shirt. This is Sean Combs, aka P. Diddy, his line. Um, pretty snazzy shirt, actually, leopard print. Um, super cute but my boyfriend wasn't feeling it anymore so i'm going to turn it into a little mini dress for myself um it's in really good condition just a little wear in the armpit area but we're gonna be cutting that part off anyway so it's not even gonna matter and here i am with my nice fat ass and i'm just going to hold the shirt up and show you guys kind of how this looks on me or held up to me before we go ahead and alter it. So you can see it's definitely big enough to be a dress. Just gotta, you know. So here's my workspace. Um, sewing machine, got my coffee there. Sewing box is the yellow thing. I keep it covered when I'm not using it. But yeah, I have my desk set up. If you wanted to sew this by hand, technically you could, but uh, a sewing machine makes it way more convenient and you can get it done like 20 times quicker. First thing I'm doing here, I am taking my measurements, my waist, my hips. For hips, you're going to make sure that you do it at the point where your butt sticks out the most and then go all the way around. Okay, and also the breast. And if you guys want an in-depth measuring video of how to take measurements just let me know and then i'm just going to record them breast waist hips those are the three main ones if you wanted to go all out and do like collarbone to rib cage like you could go all out but for this we're just doing that and then i want to show you guys how the garment is front and back touching each other so we are going to divide those measurements by two so breast waist hips divided by two and then we're going to add two because we're going to add two extra inches to allow space to sew the seams and that's called seam allowance so try to stay with me here now what i'm doing is i am measuring the chest area of the shirt from armpit to armpit okay it's 23 inches so then what I am going to do is do 23 minus 20, which was the measurement I got for breasts. I know this is a little tricky. And then I'm dividing it by two because I am going... Okay, hold on. I will show you. Anyway, I got one and a half. So basically, I am going to cut in an inch and a half on each side of the t-shirt to get it the right size for my chest area and then once I go an inch and a half in I'm going to cut a curved line up for the armhole and I decided that I had cut it too far down so I actually decided to make the breast area higher up and I'll be cutting off that other excess later so don't worry about that and there's fluffy now an easy way to do the other side is just fold the t-shirt in half and use that side as a guideline for cutting the opposite side and there i have a very rough sloppy draft of my armholes and chest area so next i'm measuring where my waist would be 
and you can see it is 23 and a half inches so I'm doing 23 and a half minus 16.5 from my math I did earlier that was 7 divided by 2 three and a half so I'm going to cut in three and a half inches on each side of the garment in the waist area you can see that's what I did right here fluffer nutter and then I cut from that to up to the armhole okay now all that's left is the hip area really fluffy so I'm just doing that same little ritual for the hip area measuring doing the math and this is my um, rough silhouette of the dress. Now we just have to sew this thing. So the first thing you're going to do, everything from here is pretty easy. You're going to sew from the bottom to the armhole, just like that. Leave the dress how it is and just sew from the bottom to the armhole. And we're actually going to be creating a French seam here. So you can see... Well, I still have a rough edge. What I'm going to do is cut along that thread line, cut off as much excess fabric as I can, and then it is going to look a little something like this after cutting off most of the excess. Then you're going to turn it inside out. So you're going to completely hide the rough edge and you're going to sew along that line with about a line with about a half inch seam allowance. And then it's going to look like this, a nice clean seam. That's the inside. Turn it back to the other side and you have a very nice clean seam very subtle not noticeable and that's called a french kissing seam i think something like that so look my so after you do that on both sides the only thing we have left are the armholes because we don't want that raw edge so all i did was fold over the raw edge two times two small folds so that there's no raw edge showing sewed along it and we have a nice neat seam and that's the end of the dress i know i got a little um complex with the measurements technically you could eyeball it for something like this but yeah and i did make a little mistake one shoulder ended up being way thicker than the other that's what happens when you kind of wing it and don't measure everything but i put it on anyways and it fit really good really cute okay i'm embarrassing myself very short skimpy but you know you know how we do out here really comfortable thank you